Miss Kenhub versus Miss Mandible. And here we go. A few jabs here and there. And ooh, a sucker punch to the jaw for Miss Mandible. Didn't seem to bother her though. Oh my, another one. And oh, another one. You know what they say. The mandible is the strongest bone of the skull. And Miss Mandible seems to be as solid as a rock. Still though, that's got to rattle a few teeth. Okay. This is getting brutal. Why don't we take a break here and find out more about the anatomy of the unbelievably strong mandible. So today we're going to learn all about the anatomy of the mandible. We will begin with taking a look at the main divisions of the mandible, which include the body of the mandible and the two rami. We'll explore the bony landmarks and foramina within each division and also take a look at its adjacent articulations and main functions. Finally. We'll finish off today's tutorial with a quick look at some clinical notes on the mandible to help consolidate our understanding. As you can see here, the mandible is our lower jawbone. It is the largest, strongest and lowest bone of the human skull. It is the only mobile bone of the skull, apart from the auditory ossicles. The mandible is often considered to be a part of the viscerocranium. However, in some literature, it is not included as part of the facial skeleton. The mandible, as we have already mentioned, consists of a body anteriorly and two rami posteriorly. Let's begin with taking a look at the body of the mandible. The body of the mandible is somewhat U-shaped, extending posteriorly on either side. The body of the mandible contains two borders. An upper alveolar part of the mandible, sometimes referred to as the superior border, and a lower base of the mandible, also known as the inferior border. It also has two surfaces, an outer or external surface and an inner or internal surface. The alveolar part of the mandible anchors all 16 of your lower teeth. That is, if you don't choose boxing as a career, right? Alveola originates from the Latin word alveus, which means little cavity or hollow, pertaining to the little cavity which each tooth sits in. The other 16 upper teeth can be found anchored in the paired maxillae. The maxilla also known as the upper jaw, is a bone of the viscerocranium, which lies just superior to the mandible. The body of the mandible articulates with the maxilla via the teeth when you close your mouth. Separating each adjacent dental alveoli is a thin plate of bone known as the interalveolar septa of the mandible. These septa ensure that the teeth have enough space to grow. Let's move on to the inferior border of the body of the mandible, which is known as the base of the mandible. This structure is a free edge that extends posterolaterally from the midline. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.